Hello, hello, hello. I'm very happy to see you, my friend. <laughs> How are you? Uh, tired from the trip? Don't worry. We have all the time in the world to enjoy the sights and sounds. You have chosen a perfect place for a vacation. I will show you a side of Finland that not many people know about. We might not know each other yet, but I think we will become great friends during your time here. <laughs> Welcome. Oh, it is on. <laughs> Hello and welcome to the May's live stream. I'm Glenn Bixley, and today, yep, you know it. The Hunter, Call of the Wild, Revan to Lee. Okay, Northern Lights. The Northern Lights, if you, you would prefer. This place is the Northern Lights Coast, Revan to Lee Coast. It's hunting season now, so we should have the reserve to ourselves. Hey, Father Jack, be Go right back. And open the outpost. Go ahead and open the outpost. Ribbon to the Le Ridi. Whatever that is. Okay. I presume it means go in here and trigger the flagpole as we normally do. So, yes, welcome everybody. Welcome, welcome. Um, not my usual streaming time. Um, something completely different i thought we'd come in have a go at the brand new map do we go that way or do we go that way this looks more scenic let's go this way <laughs> the long scenic way investigate tracks to learn about animal movements Ooh. we can't go this way I can see it now. It's closed off. <laughs> oh, we should have gone the other way. Okay. Run, 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 run. Where's the dog? Have we got the dog? I saw the dog. I'm sure I saw the dog. Hello? Hello, hello, hello. I knew I went the wrong way. <laughs> okay. So, yes, here we are. We're in Finland. Um, I have prepared a cabin for you. You can leave your luggage and rest before we head out. Oh, this is flash accommodations. This is pretty flash accommodation. Uh, that microphone looks a bit low on this. Give me a sec. Let's just... Wow, again? What is going on with that? Oh, I think I see the problem. Microphone cable touching power supply seems to affect volume. Let's see what that's doing now. Okay. About there should be all right. Uh, check, check. That'll do. Okay. Yeah, I think that's, well, I don't know. I just cranked up anyway. We'll see. There we go. Okay, so this is where we're staying, apparently. There's a kiosk here. Oh, anybody feel like something to eat? Okay, so we've raised the flag. Come on then, Wolf Bark. That's my dog, Wolf Bark. Good dog, that. Very good dog. Hmm. Okay, come on then, Wolf Bark. Let's go. I don't think there's any animals around here. Hello, you seen any animals? No, they've seen no animals. <laughs> Hello, you seen any animals? Oh, I can get on your fence. Wait, let's try that again. Whoa, don't get stuck in their backyards, then you'll be in trouble. <laughs> we're going around the corner or around the bend, one or the other? Okay, where are we going? Oh, maybe we should have just gotten stuck in their backyard. Ugh. We can get up there. Hang on, hang on. Oh, don't you worry. We use the log. If I make enough noises, see, all I had to do is make extra noises. All the... <laughs> that all helps. You jump much higher that way. Where's my dog? It's clever, that dog. Where's the smacker just gone? <laughs> I'm sure there was a marker there a moment ago. <laughs> it's 
Luckily, <laughs> it disappears when you get close enough. Okay, here we go. This is their accommodation. Boys, I baked you a little welcome pastry. <gasps> go ahead and try one. Come on. Oh, yes, I can. Hey. Do you like it? They're called Runebari Torto. And so that gamer, hey, how are you? New map, yeah, brand new map just came out tonight. Thought I would uh, have to jump on and give this one a go while it's fresh. And how are you this evening? It's morning, it's morning, sorry, it's morning. Oh, just because I'm tired. <laughs> what is it? It's uh, 10 past 11 p.m. here now, <laughs> so I'm a little tired. Oh dear, took a while to install this one. It's a big install. Um, popular finished pastry. That is normally eaten on Runeberg Day. Okay. The 5th of February. Well, it's not the 5th of February, but I'll eat it anyway. Cheers and tar. Thank you. <laughs> what happened there? Oh, read more. You should read instead of just... <laughs> okay. So, reset, view, rotate, zoom. I can't eat it. You're teasing me. Oh, escape to close. Anyway. <laughs> so it's Finland, yes, yes. Um, oh, Glenn's not much good for this pronunciation. Was it Revlon Tuli? Hang on, we're gonna. If I look at the word, yeah, Revlon Tuli Coast, Revlon Tuli, which means Northern Lights, basically, uh, as I understand it. Northern Lights Coast. Um, while I'm thinking of it, I need to bring up my stream just in case we have the usual issues that we usually have okay now i'm not full screen because of that right here we go okay so i suppose you want me to go to sleep is that what you want welcome got our gun our trusty wolf bark outside i presume he wants us to sleep okay so what time we're going to get up in the morning five o'clock Five. Five o'clock in the morning sounds like a good time to get up, I reckon. You know, it's only like in a couple of hours. <laughs> 250. Oh, just as well, I've got some money left over from last time, eh? Hey, Father Jack, you're back. So, how are you getting on with the, uh, you, the, the download? Um, are you anywhere near ready to go or. <laughs> Am <laughs> I just going to go for a single player hunt? And I know you're eager to help around the reserve, but no worries yet. It won't be needed. You can just relax and enjoy your vacation. Have you made any plans on what you want to do here? Uh, besides hunting, of course. Oh, it's on the inside. Let me tell you, in case you haven't made any plans, I have a little idea for you. We are going to see touch and taste everything that Revotuli Coast has to offer. But every journey starts with a step. The blue trailhead over there, that is where our trek begins. Now head to the start of the trail. Okay, head to the start of the trail. 12 gauge. We've already got that. I wonder if I can carry it. Compatible items. Buy. Okay, how much cash have I got? Well, let's get a couple of those. I don't know if I can carry it, but um, so I need to go to storage. I need to go to my twelve gauge. So I want to take a twelve gauge if I can carry one. There's a twelve gauge. Doesn't matter which twelve gauge. Can we carry that? We can. Beautiful. So we need 12 gauge buckshot. Right. Uh, cash $1,000 reward. What was that for? Was that for getting a shotgun? Oh, Glenn's got the right gun and giving him rewards. <laughs> Still a while doing other stuff. Someone is uploading stuff to my box. So go with single player. All good, mate. No worries. Oh, we can always go for a. Uh, Go for another hunt in a couple of days, actually, because I wasn't intending to do this tonight, so um, maybe we can 
go for a multiplayer anyway in a couple of days or something. But yeah, I just... I've got that um, survival game coming out tomorrow. That brand new... Well, it's not brand new. It's new for me. Oh, this has changed. This is a little different. The way it reacts. Okay. Not quite sure I like it, but... What's the dog doing? Oh, here it comes. Ah, okay. Uh, what game that? Um, Northern Lights. Oh, I do have to laugh. This is the Northern Lights Coast. And tomorrow I will be playing Northern Lights Survival. <laughs> God, Northern Lights! Oh, calm down, Glenn. <laughs> so yes, tomorrow is Northern Lights Survival. Uh, for those who are um, possibly new, and this is not my normal streaming time, I normally stream, was it 10.30pm GMT? Okay, no parking. We're not allowed to park here, guys. Oh, well, we'll keep moving then. So yeah, I normally stream 10.30 p.m. GMT, but seeing as this is new, oh, I thought we'd better jump on this one. So our little plan is this. We are going to walk along the Blue Trail. A nice and brisk walk that will take us through the central part of the reserve. Okay. I will be your personal guide, and during the walk I will tell you about worthwhile sites and activities we have here. Gross. The path is marked by Oops. signs. And there is a trail you can follow. But I will also mark the path on your hunter mate if you get lost. Oh, see, this has all changed too. Don't worry. Be happy, my friend. You know, I recorded a little tune for... So this is all new? I put in a mouth harp and drum. Uh, ah, I haven't introduced myself yet. My name is Oiva Reyo Ikevalto. And I'm the warden here at Revotoli Coast. I've been the warden for about 20 years, which is pretty long, considering I'm only a The hell am I hearing? <laughs> yeah. Even earlier than that, I was the assistant warden. It's because I like it very much here. It's my hobby and my therapy. I can think better when I'm walking Not in sure what I'm hearing. You know, people watch TV show marathons. I walk marathons in the woods and along the coast. It's the same thing for me. But I also watch TV marathons. I live with my avopuoliso. Um, I'm not sure what the English word is for that. A uh, partner, maybe. Her name is Pirjo. And we have three kids together. Lukas, Matti and Helena. I want shotgun you know, or do I want... Best. Family is best. Lynx. I've never gone after a lynx. I don't think shotgun's the right weapon. How far away is it? Hmm. What more would be interesting for you to know about me? Oh yes, I love music and instruments, of course. Strangely, but I don't really. We're gonna blow away the first animal we see, are we, Glenn? Streaming. Pretty exciting. My music is pretty good. Or it might be my end. Yes, pretty good is probably right. Uh, looks okay here so far. Give me a look at my stats. I'll reset my stats and take a look. Could be the download. Could be the download, mate. I actually dropped my... When I was watching YouTube, I dropped mine down to uh, 480p while I was downloading, to be honest. Just so I... What? <laughs> Playing a pre-recorded tune. I actually download... Uh, I was watching videos at 480. Just so I could download a little bit faster, to be honest. What is with this? What do you think? It's bloody awful! Ah, uh, sorry. Uh, Glenn, polite. Um, I could use some improvement. Yes, yes, it could use this. You, you could use some improvement. <laughs> well, I don't know where that Lynx was. 
Uh, did I load the shotgun? I'm pretty sure I did. Yeah, I did. Okay, and is this one loaded? Apparently it is. Okay. So yes, Finland should be quite scenic, I reckon. I mean, all my experience of Finland tells me it should be pretty scenic. Well, when I say all my experience, I mean, well, I haven't got a freaking clue what I'm talking about, but... <laughs> That is right. <laughs> We're here for fun. Nobody cares whether or not I know what I'm talking about. <laughs> okay, so we got shotgun in case we see any birds, like the grouse. And we got the 3006 for anything big, like moose. Just in case. Because we all know. That there ain't no moose left in New Zealand. Glenn shot the last one! Father Jack's been hunting for moose in New Zealand and it doesn't exist because I shot it. Now I'm going to get in here and I'm going to shoot everything. I'm going to shoot the grouse. I'm going to shoot the moose. I'm going to shoot this lynx. <laughs> Take no prisoners. I wonder how far away it is. I've got no idea. Could be anywhere. And it's a lynx. It's not like it's going to be very big. It's probably hiding in the grass. Oh well. The waypoint mark is this way. Forget about you, lynx. I don't use that type of deodorant. It's <laughs> we'll go looking for something else, like maybe a musk ox. <laughs> I don't know if I want to put turkey smell on me, though. If I use turkey deodorant, it might be um, a bit much. Oh, we're going up there to the watchtower. That's where we're going. Jimi Hendrix song, dog. All along the watchtower. When do we get to see something and shoot it? Oh, we get something soon. There we go. Tracks. Right. What do we got? Where are they going? Okay, so there's... Western, what, what, what? Capri Cap yeah, it's one of those. <laughs> it's the Western variety, though, not the Eastern variety. <laughs> Looks like there's a need zone over here, so we'll go and trigger this. It's the largest of all grouse species. Oh, well, that's grouse. I'd hate to shoot the smallest one. Uh, zero to four. Oh, well, we we're a bit late for that. Let's move on. Come on, then, Wolfpack. I presume we're going to have to go this way. It's hard to tell. Uh, let's have a look at the map. That's not the map. That's the map. Yeah, okay, so we're going to have to come around here to the road. Okay. So where did we start from? We started from out there. We could have just gone straight to the road, Glenn. Oh, typical. Okay, Wolf Bark, come on in. What have we got here? Nope, you're going in the wrong direction. We're going this way, I think. Yep, carry on. Carry on, he says. <laughs> Well, I saw something there.
Black grouse. No, it wasn't, mate. That was not a grouse, I tell you. It looked pretty grouse, but it wasn't a grouse. That was a turkey. No, not a turkey. Calm down, dog. Oh, that's, that's, that's. There's blood. Oh, look at that. Oh, hang on. Get the dog to track it. Let's get the dog working. Yeah, this is different. It's a lot more clunky. I'm not sure if I like it yet. Track. Can you find it? Okay. This is a really good hunting dog. It's, um... It's... I don't know what it's doing. Is this not... Oh, that's what the bear was beating on! I thought that was the bear. <laughs> you ain't got no clue what he's doing. Okay, let's go and find the bear then. Good dog. Yep, good dog. Okay, we're on the hunt for a bear. Um, I would prefer a tequila, but we'll settle for a bear. Look at that! My first kill! Yeah! Good dog. Oh, I can't. Oh, yes, I can. I was going to say I can't interact with the dog now. Good dog. Oh, I can't. Nope. Doesn't like me doing that anymore. Look at that. It was standing up and it got shot right where it hurt. Right in the lung and through the spine. Female! Oh. Light brown. Okay, so the trophy is the skull. So this is the good kill. We've got a silver for that. Okay, excellent, excellent, excellent. Um... We don't have this thing up the top that somebody taught me about the other day. But that's okay. So flesh, right lung. Yep. That's... Um, I'm thinking, do I take it? It's my first kill. Let's take it. Let's, let's taxidermize it. We'll put that up in the hunting lodge later on. It's my first kill in this area. Let's take the damn thing. It's a bear, for goodness sake. Why wouldn't we take our first kill when it's a bear? There's something over that way, but the game wouldn't let me check it. Okay, come on, dog. You're doing good. Yes, a little more clunky in that movement. I'm not sure if I like it. Um, I like... It's more tactile. Definitely feels more tactile than it did before. All right. Come on, dog. That looked like a bear. <laughs> Love the way he, just, he was peeping his head up to see what was out there. I haven't used the shotgun in this game yet. I have no idea what it's like to use. Can we do a hip shot? Probably not, eh? I mean, there's a yellow dot there, but... If I put the yellow dot on the... Target, will I get it? It's a good question. I see you. Oh. What happened to me shotgun? I clicked the button and nothing happened. <laughs> Glenn's an expert. Hang on. Um. 
Okay, so how do we work the shotgun? Um. Oh, are you telling me I have to? Oh, so I can't hit shoot. Oh, okay. Oh, I wanted to do a hip shot. Apparently, you can't do hip shots. I reckon once I pick it up and use the scope, then it'll actually let me pull the trigger. But when I just pull the trigger, it's not working. Oh, that kind of sucks. Still didn't click! <laughs> it went click, but it didn't do anything. Have I got the wrong ammunition for this thing? <laughs> I think I probably got the wrong ammo. I'm sure, oh, mind you, I just, I just grabbed any old 12 gauge, but, oh, I think I've got the wrong ammo for the, <laughs> clean, you're good, you're like an expert or something, eh? <laughs> okay, never mind, um, Wolf Bark, we want you to, um, heal. <laughs> I must be like an expert or something. Hey, Maverick, how are you, buddy? Welcome, welcome. Remember me? Yeah, I do, mate. Yeah, now are you? We're back. We're back for the new map. Northern Lights Coast. Oh, sorry. Ribbon Tule Coast. Hunting in Finland. Uh, Glenn brought the shotgun, and he's such an expert that... I think we have the wrong ammo. <laughs> My shotgun doesn't go bang like it's supposed to. <laughs> oh no. It doesn't matter. I just shot a bear memory. The bear kept looking at me going, peekaboo! You can't see me. Peekaboo! So I shot him! <laughs> I don't like that game. <laughs> <laughs> okay what are you what are you what are you what are you as long as we can shoot you with this we might have to start shooting grouse with this oh this has changed too that's updated oh all the stats are showing on that now so there's a few updates it's more than just the map i wonder if we can go fishing yet when are we going fishing? I want to go fishing. That's the other update that's supposed to be coming out. Fishing. That could be kind of cool. Because I did say a wee while ago. It would be kind of cool if we could go fishing. And I'd love to see them add some trout to New Zealand. Either rainbows or browns. No point adding lake trout because, well, you don't get them very many places. But yeah, rainbows or browns, definitely. Add that to the New Zealand map. I'd be up for that. Okay. Another lynx. They make a weird noise. Let's turn my volume up just a little bit more. Now I might better hear things better. I wonder what's going to eat us first. I mean, kill us first. I mean, um, <laughs> I'm getting I'm getting really good at dying in this game now. I've been killed by goats. Been killed by pigs, been killed by deer, been killed by falling off of freaking cliffs. <laughs> I'm real good. Okay, so that's heading down towards water. The lynxes have all been making noise. 
In the direction of water, I've noticed. Wonder if they like water. Strange for an animal to like water. Very strange. Animals don't normally like water. How big are these things? Lynxes aren't terribly big, are they? They're like a large cat. According to my expert biology. Pretty sure Lynx is like a large cat. Taking nine hours for mine to update. How long was yours? Um, I started at about 11 o'clock. Started downloading it about 9.30. So yeah, 9.30 to 11. That's a long download, right? <laughs> yeah, I got fiber, so it was a little bit faster, thankfully. Hour and a half. Wow. Yeah, I was kind of hoping that I'd actually... Yeah, you know, I thought, well, it's supposed to come out at 9. Maybe if I can get on by 9.30, that would be nice. And then, yeah, 11 o'clock, I finally got on. <laughs> can we? No, we can't go that way. Are we just going to go around in circles trying to find our way up this path, Glenn? Didn't you check a map or something before? Aren't we back in the same place I was before? I am. We want to go here. Hang on. Place a waypoint. There should be a road there. Oh, I didn't even see it. I walked straight past it. it oh, yeah. Okay. I can see it now. Now that I've put a waypoint marker on the track, I can see it now. I really didn't see that though before. Okay, so let's remove that waypoint marker now. Now that I can see the track. <laughs> and we want to go this way. Oh, stop your whinging dog. Come on. We're going looking for animals. We're going to shoot them all. We're going to shoot the deer. We're going to shoot the lynx. Any hippopotamuses on this map? We'll shoot them too, probably. <laughs> but yes, it looks like they've got a few updates to it. So it's not just the game. Uh, sorry, it's not just the map. They've updated the um, the dog wheel. They've updated the information on the side. So your companion and your tracker and all that's been updated. Uh, should be done at five. Oh, lovely. And they've updated the... Um... Oh, there it is. I found it, Father Jack. I found it. It's the moose you're looking for. <laughs> they've also updated the... Um... The way this works now for loading your weapons etc you know if I shoot a moose all I'll need would be a moose pad and we'll be all set to go. Hmm. No idea how to shoot moose pads though. Uh, done. Have to go. Delivery turned up. Okay, mate. Have a good day. Catch you later, Father Jack. Cheers for coming in, buddy. Yeah, I don't know how long I'll be playing, but I want to give this at least a good hour or so anyway. Take us through to midnight.
it's, you know, midnight, it's time for a homicide, I've got a gun, let's go. Let's shoot something. Turkey! Gobble, gobble, gobble! Okay, forget the turkey, let's go this way. Where's the track go? So the track winds around that way, yep. I don't mind shooting turkeys! I just don't have the right ammunition for my bomb gauge, I think. <laughs> I think that's funny. I either grabbed the wrong gun or the wrong ammo. <laughs> One or the other. I'm sure that's what it is. Could be option three. I'm just don't have a clue what I'm doing. <laughs> So far, it's a very scenic map. I'm quite liking the map. And all the ambient noises and everything are pretty good. And I like the fact that the first kill I got was a bear. <laughs> <laughs> Can't complain at that. I'll put it up in my trophy lodge later. Everybody can see my bear. I think the newest great one is a brown bear because the guy in the mission said something about a great big unique bear. I tell you what, she was a big unique bear, all right. She stood up going, peek a -boo! So I shot her in the throat. <laughs> yeah, oh, I got the bear. We got her. That was back a couple of minutes ago. Just before you came in. Literally just before you came in. You missed it. Ah, oh, come on. We're going to have to shoot another one for you. We're going to have to shoot another one. Oh, look at the scenery, dude. Look at this. This could be a thumbnail. This could be a thumbnail right here. Look at that. We need a sunrise, though. We need a sunrise of that. Stop of the tour. You should scout the area with the lookout tower. You might find something you want to check out later. During the trek, if you see anything that interests you, animal tracks or something else, feel free to pursue that and come back to the trail when you want. It's your vacation. You're the boss. How do I put my hands down? That's right, H. Yeah, H for the HUD. That's, that's an awesome looking screenshot. Do we want the dog in it? There we go. Screenshot's done. Stop it. Get on with the game, he says. <laughs> hey. I jump. I'm an athlete. I can do that. Right, let's get up here. Stop mucking around me. Not seeing anything. This is nice and high. Get a good view up here. Yeah, no, I think shooting a bear is a really good way to start this map. Excellent way to start the map. Speaking of maps. Ah, yes. Here we have Revontuli Coast. Beautiful trees, lakes, and ideas in every direction. It is a small country with a very big heart. I'm looking forward to sharing it with you. All right. You're looking forward to sharing it with me, are you? Okay, then. Let's share, buddy! 
<laughs> I, head, I guess we're heading out here now. Follow the blue trail. Ah, the blue trail. So it's not going to be green then. Anything down there by the lake? Actually, that's something I haven't thought about. No, he still doesn't hold his breath properly. <laughs> he still waves all over the place. <laughs> uh, like he hasn't got a clue how to hold a gun. Oh, well. All sorts of weird noises going on. Yeah, you get all sorts of weird noises in this one. They're all new to me, I don't recognise them. Alright, let's get down here. Can we just jump? Oh, that's probably a bad idea, isn't it? I'll probably break my neck. Again. <laughs> Come on, Wolf Park, let's go. 100 meters. Okay. Can we get another beer? Actually, a moose. I'll settle for a moose. Because that beer was pretty cool. I want a big male one, though. Grr. <laughs> That's Glenn's impersonation of a beer. <laughs> <laughs> Any more beers want to play peekaboo? That was quite a good game. I like, I enjoyed playing peekaboo with that other beer. She went peekaboo. And I went, bang, I see you. <laughs> Lucas, my oldest son, likes waterfowl hunting very much. Waterfowl. So wake up early when the weather is still calm and go out. We have a few favorite lakes we visit. Knowing the birds is very important to have a good catch. They all group and fly differently, so I recommend you take your time to identify them before the shooting starts. Why? I don't hunt as much as I used to, but I'm very close friends with the local hunters. I used to hunt a lot when I was younger, but with time I've come to enjoy the reserve management side of things, making sure the needs of all the animals and plants are met. When a hunter tells me they've harvested a high-scoring animal, I know it's thanks to Mama Nature and a little thanks to Papa Oiva. <laughs> Uh, but you know, mostly I don't need to do much. I'm just very thankful. I love this place. Yeah. But my question is, why do I need to identify my target before shooting? That's not how we play this game. <laughs> this is not reality, mate. No need to identify targets. Anything that moves other than me dog is a target. <laughs> Don't shoot me, dog. Okay, well, I've got the wrong weapon anyway for shooting grouse. So we might need to um, find a hut or something. Oh, you want me this way now? Oh. I thought we were going in the right direction. I'm always going in the wrong direction. Story of my life. It's 
So yes, I'll have to definitely find a hut and try and sort out my shoddy. I might need to test it, make sure it goes bang before I take off. <laughs> shoddy that doesn't go bang isn't much of a shoddy. There's a need zone over there. Let's go and trigger this need zone, to, shall we? Might be a bear. Caden, the fantastic farmer. Hey, you sound like a really fantastic farmer. How are you, Caden? Welcome, mate. Welcome, welcome. New map, I see. Yes. This is Finland. So we are hunting the Revantuli coast, as they call it. Uh, which translates apparently in English to the Northern Lights Coast. Um, I just shot a bear a little while ago. So that's, that's, a, that's a new one on me. I've never managed to shoot a bear before. So yes, I shot a bear. Um, I've also managed to realise that my shotgun doesn't go bang. So I think I need better ammo. Wrong ammo. Get the right ammo. <laughs> but how are you, buddy? Welcome. The many bodies of water are a breeding ground for mosquitoes. You know, most people love to hear birds sing. Yep. I wonder if there's anybody out there who loves the buzz of mosquitoes. Um, maybe a South Islander would. Maybe I should record some mosquito sounds. Hmm. Release something on the internet. Yeah, um, it's hard to like them, but they have their role in the ecosystem, even if it's not very obvious to us human. Shooting bears, can, shooting bears can be really hard. And uh, the one I shot was really easy. It was on the other side of a ridge, and it decided to play peekaboo. So it kept standing up and going peekaboo. And um, I shot it and said, "I see you." <laughs> It was, I don't know what it was up to. I think it was like peeking, trying to see me. It must have heard me or smelt the dog or something. Maybe it smelt me because I pretty much stink most of the time. But um, it was just peeking over the ridge. And it just did it one too many times. Eh? <laughs> Bam! Straight through the lung, into the spine. <laughs> Only a female, silver medal on it. Moose. He's trotting. Don't even see where that goes. Where does that even go? It just like disappears. <laughs> See, now there's the problem with the moose. They just disappear. <laughs> They're magic, these moose, mate. That's why you can't shoot them. That's why you can't shoot them. The moose are magical. Hey, and did you guys see that New Zealand launched another spaceship tonight? Uh, we, we, we headed off to do a circumnavigation to the moon or something. Yep, New Zealand's um, off again. Doing quite a few launches from New Zealand lately. Hell of a lot of satellites. And now to see them doing completely different mission type, I was quite surprised tonight. Do you have slugs in your shotgun? Um, well, I brought a shotgun. I've got a 12-gauge shotgun, and I've got 12-gauge buckshot. But the problem is, when I bring up the shotgun, it goes... So I think I've done something wrong. <laughs> when we get to a hut, I will check and see if it's the wrong ammo, or what it might be. My guess is it's possibly either the wrong ammo or the wrong gun. 
<laughs> I reckon it's a good chance it's one of those two. <laughs> I left some mosquito repellent you can use at a camp near here. A camp? Yeah, that's what we need. We need to get to the red box so we can sort out the shotgun. <laughs> But no, I'm, so far I'm liking the updates that they're doing on this game. Like, I mean, there never used to be the ambient bird sounds and things like that. They've added that to it now. And I mean, they're trying. They've updated this. It feels a lot clunkier. I'm not sure if I like it yet. It's okay. And they've added one of those circular menus for when you're picking your weapons. In here as well um, inventory so they added one for here as well this I really do like definitely you can see it very clear and clean you can see exactly what you're going to be grabbing what slot it's in I do like that it might be me the wrong ammo yeah <laughs> you might guess it's either the wrong ammo for the shotgun or it's the wrong shotgun for the ammo <laughs> It could be either, though. You never know. <laughs> ah, well. The ammo was right for the 308. We managed to um, bring that beer down without too much of a problem. A lot of activity up here. Yeah, I was quite happy when I saw that bear on the ground. Especially when I thought I saw the bear and it turned out to be something else altogether. And then the dog took off after the bear and I thought, oh no, I hope I don't lose this one. But yep, that was good. My first, first shot that I fired got a bear. One for one. Can't complain of that. If I was playing Call of Duty, one for one would be a good tally. <laughs> Is this more food for the beer? I don't. But yeah, what I actually thought was a beer body was actually a um, carcass that the beer had been feeding from. Okay, so here's a campsite. I don't see a red box for this though. Very wrong. No more new itching. Only old itching. No more new itching, only old itching. <laughs> Fair enough. But there's no red box here. Uh, it doesn't look like we're going to fix our shotgun issues in a hurry. <laughs> Uh, my Call of the Wild is slowly updating, very slowly. It's a huge update. 60 gigabytes. 69, actually. 69 gigabytes. That's like a lot. <laughs> sure glad I'm on um, Unlimited these days. I remember years back we used to pay per gigabyte. 69 gigabytes would cost me hundreds of dollars. Would back then anyway. Sure glad that's not an issue now. Unlimited internet, fiber. Beautiful. On the big five challenge, but we call ours okay, yeah, I call it that too. Yeah. Miscellaneous 19. Miscellaneous 19. 68.81. Yeah, I love doing that in this game. We also have a local photo competition. Okay. Feel free to take part. Really? Okay, so that must be a new update to the game too. A photo competition. 
That actually sounds like a clever idea as an addition to the game, actually. I like that. I wonder if... Now, see, if they've done that well, we could do photo competitions with our friends. They'd go up on the Steam store and people could then vote for them sort of thing. If they've done that well. Who knows? But I do like that as an idea for an addition to the game. Oh, it's midnight. I know it's midnight because my surveillance camera screen's turning off. <laughs> That's from time to go to bed is what it's telling me. So what does that make it? Uh, Wednesday now? It's very quiet around here. So is that correct? We Yeah, it has just gone midnight. It's now midnight Wednesday. Okay. Well. One o'clock, oh well, just gone midnight, so it's Wednesday morning. Yeah. Wednesday. Oh, that means it's payday. I got paid. <laughs> I got paid last night. Yay! I like payday. Payday is the best day of the week. Don't you guys agree? Payday is even better than Fridays. Sometimes Friday isn't necessarily the end of the week. <laughs> oh man, you know, you got that theory of thank God it's Friday, but that doesn't help if you started work on a Friday. Whoa! Moosey Moosey! Okay. Dog, can you lay down? Moose. Moose. Where are you? Where are you, Moose? As you out there, I can hear you. <laughs> Not on the middle of the road? Oh. Out in the middle of the road is always a nice, easy place to shoot them. I'm not seeing any movement. Mmm. Maybe, maybe what we need is for more people to give the video a thumbs up. And then maybe the moose will just run straight out in front of us. It's worth a try. You guys could give it a go. Wouldn't hurt. <laughs> okay, see, I want to go that way, but moose was that way. Oh. Ah, well, you know what they say. Plenty more moose in Finland. <laughs> Sure, that's what they say, isn't it? It's an old Finnish saying. Plenty more moose in Finland. Oh, hang on. Put that back up again. Y 
Ita Arino, I guess. I guess that's what it would be. Ita Arino. That's 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 about as close as I think I can get. I'm up there at least once a month. It's the perfect getaway when I want to have a mandate with myself. Sorry. I'll pack my favorite cheeses, some savory pastries, and maybe a beverage. Dude, I don't really want to know about what you get up to in private. My care. <laughs> a spiritual power trip, really. Yeah, we're not getting enough thumbs. There's no bears. <laughs> the bears don't care. Yeah, dog, you're not wrong. That's exactly what I was thinking. I like the trail markers. <laughs> we used to have things like that in New Zealand. <laughs> Haven't seen trail markers like that in a long time. This is our idea of a trail marker now. <laughs> you can see where people walk. Hmm, not seeing anything now, no sign, no nothing. Now, I don't really have any callers that are going to be suitable for this terrain either. Don't really have any lures of any use around this area. Unfortunately, all my lures are useless here. might be something around for this maybe a bit of white tail or maybe some black tail Not a sign. No movement. No tracks. No audio calls. It's dead around here.
Let's head off the track. Track's not doing me any good. I see nothing. Companion level up. Why? Not sure why it leveled up there, but okay. I'll take it. Oh, okay, look at the pathway. That's kind of cool. Yeah, it's quite a scenic map. Very nice. Come on, Wolf Park, let's go. We got mooses to shoot. And bears. <laughs> you like my impersonation of a bear? <laughs> and moose. Wow, moose goes squeak, squeak. I know these things. I have mooses in my walls. <laughs> okay, that's not true. <laughs> I don't have any mooses in my walls. Oh, that could be a problem, though, couldn't it? Having a moose in your wall. Quiet. It's very quiet out here. Come on, I want to shoot another beer. <laughs> One's not enough for me. I need another beer. Isn't that always the way with the typical male? He always wants another beer. Shooting one's just not enough. <laughs> oh, got a freeze there suddenly. How many beers am I allowed to shoot before I'm not allowed to drive home? Of all time. You're what? We are why and who? Which is cured salmon. Ah, cured salmon. So it was ill and now it's not ill anymore. And Yamon Iberico. Oh. Uh, you know, Iberico is really nice, uh, but I don't eat it very often. So maybe it's not good to have it on my top list. I'll change Iberico to bacon. Bacon? <laughs> bacon always works. Bacon always works. Works for what? Oh, we're heading down to that. We're going that away. We are indeed, though. We're going down that windy path around the waterway. Might make some good photos. Is 
Listen to those. What is that? I don't even know what that noise is. It's kind of an awesome sound though. But it's echoing. Well, hopefully we can see something down here. It's a water bird that I'm hear hearing. Feathers. I was wondering what it was. Yeah, wolf back. Not seeing anything down there. And we got the wrong gun for shooting birds. Well, not really. We got the right gun. <laughs> we just can't use it because I think I got the wrong ammo. Either or I got the wrong right ammo and the wrong gun. <laughs> and streams have salmon, uh, pike, perch, uh, rainbow trout, and how do you say this fish, um, uh, kuha? Uh, it's like the mix of the pike and perch. Ah, uh, uh, yes, yes. Kuha. Okay. So... Finland is really top of the notch for fishing. I've got a few pikes in the lake you're walking past right now. Um, they were like 14 kilos or 30 pounds. It could have been the same one. Can we fish? Release the pike we catch. I don't know about you, but I think they are not very good to eat. My kids prefer salmon, so we usually fish for that when looking for Tuesday dinner. For the fish and chips person, uh, there is also cod out in the archipelago. Oh dear. For other whitefish like halibut and flounder. I can flounder. Flounder is nice. You come by the house. Uh, I'll cook fish and chips. Oh yum. Love fish and chips. Lemonade beer. Because you know, you have to respect the butter. One or the other. It's probably beer. <laughs> I usually use lemonade or beer. <laughs> I haven't made better in a long time. But does that mean we can fish in this game now? Because I know that was an update that's coming, but. Is that actually here, or is you just teasing us, talking about trout and 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 halibut and 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 and, and, and yeah? One thing I did notice is the way his pronunciation is going. Um, it seems like if I pronounce words in a Maori style, it will be close to their pronunciation because. Yeah, that's what it's looking like anyway. Do you have the ammo or gun for the shotgun? You have to find the compatible ammo. Yeah, well, that's what I'm saying. I grabbed the wrong ammo or the wrong gun. I need to get to a hut though so I can check and see what the hell I did grab. Because I really am not too sure. To be honest, I just grabbed something that said 12 gauge. Thought I had a shot at that one, eh? Hey? 
Yeah, as soon as I can get to a red box, I will check to see what I've done wrong with the weapon, but... What are they, crows or something? Wonder if I can shoot those. <laughs> I want to shoot them all. It's like Pokemon. Got to shoot them all. Okay, we've got a nice need zone here. What have we got? Hazel Grouse. I think I've met her. <laughs> I saw that. Come on, dog. Let's go. I think we got that. Didn't even notice it until it was too late. Any blood sign dog? Ooh. Getting stuck on these rocks. Even the dogs haven't been a problem as path in them by the looks of it. Well, I don't know if I did. Oh. Are you barking at... What are you tracking? Where'd you get to? Where are you gone? <laughs> oh, you're a good dog. You're a good dog. Where is it? Good dog. Come on. Let's go. Didn't think I was that bad a shot. Really didn't. Oh. Double him back on us. Hey. Oh, look at that. White tail. Ah, no trophy. We'll just accept that. We'll take the cash. Thank you. You're a good dog. You are a really good dog. That dog does well for me. It does. Definitely a good asset. Yeah, <laughs> you're already over there looking too. I'm sure I heard something out that side.
Okay, so we got a bear and a dare. <laughs> Sounds fair. Let's have a quick look over here before we take off. Hey, mate. Hey, it's Arjun. How are you, buddy? Welcome. Welcome, welcome. How you be, my man? We're trying out the new map for Hunter Call of the Wild. This is the Rebel Tuli Coast, or if you preferred English, you could call it the Northern Lights Coast, because apparently that's what it translates to, so, yeah. Brand new map, they've got a few other updates to the game as well. Um, the scroll wheel for the dog, the way the weapons stack into your inventory. Has all been updated. Um, and there is fishing being added to the game. I don't know if it has been yet or not. He was just talking about catching fish. So I don't know if he was teasing or what. But I want to do some fishing. I did say that a few months ago. Or a month or so back. That they should add fishing to the game. So I'm so glad to see they have. But how you been anyway mate? You're working hard or hardly working? Which one is it? Odd seeing you streaming at this time. Yeah, yeah. Thought we'd come in because... Um... Oh. Little cabin over there. Thought we'd come in and have a go at this one while it was fresh, brand new. Because the sun just came out a couple of hours ago. Came out 9pm for me. No, 20 past or so. It was 11 o'clock by the time I got it installed, so... Thought we'll come on and have a quick go at it, but I won't be on here for too long. Because otherwise I'm going to be tired in the morning. For my mainstream. My mainstream, man! In college in Kesson. What, what, what? Kesson? Is that a place? I have no idea. No idea where that is, or what that is. <laughs> I, I presume it's a place. Okay, mate. You have a good day, buddy. Cheers for coming in. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up button. <laughs> And have a wonderful day. Because if you don't, somebody else will. In college and lesson right now, so I've got to go. Yep, have a good one, buddy. College, eh? I remember college. No, you don't, Glenn. You never went to freaking college. What are you talking about? Oh. <laughs> okay, I remember thinking about college. <laughs> I don't know. When I was at school, all I ever remember is my father saying... You'll be in school until you finish college. And then when it came to the end of high school, and I said to him, when I go to college, I want to study. And he said, you're not going to college. And I thought, oh, okay. Rules have changed. Again, we never keep up with the rules. That's why I don't like rules, because they always change. Building a new sauna out here. 
Not a lot of things beat having a nice sauna bath close to a lake. I do agree. Have you ever had the opportunity to try a sauna? If not, there is no better place than here. I Mate, I do you one beer. We got hot pools. Oh, you got those too. <laughs> not just because it's relaxing, but I have so many memories from my childhood. <laughs> I remember my brothers and I having snowball fights during our sauna breaks. The last time we had a snowball fight, I remember I slipped on an icy patch and fractured my tailbone. Right, well, there's no snow. I think I was uh, eight years old. There are just so many good things about the sauna. Uh, the nakedness, <laughs> the connection to nature, and how it allows you to center yourself. This guy's a problem. <laughs> I don't know who said it, uh, but it truly is a church of nature. Yeah, well, that's I true. I proposed to my partner after a sauna. What's his name? She said no. Oh, she. Somehow we ended up together anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Guess the nakedness helped. Yeah, I was supposed to tell that, yeah. Go ahead. I've marked the location on your hunter map. <laughs> the nakedness helps. Fair enough. Okay, I wonder if there's a red box here where we can sort out our shoddy. Then, to be honest, I don't think I'll be on for too much longer because it is like half past 12 in the morning. Ah, oh, it's a bike! Can we, can we... I want to ride the bike. <laughs> can we have a barbecue? Oh, I can't even have a barbecue. It seems the construction guys aren't finished with installing the heater. The rocks there needs to be placed on the heater. Do you mind doing it? That's a fishing gutting table. Why have you got an axe and saw on the gutting table? Okay. Feels like we're in a wagon train type look. It's what? The heater. It's like a gun. It's a heater, eh? No? Nobody sees anything moving? Oh, These well. rocks are what is usually used in saunas. It's called diabase or dolerite. It's suitable because it's odorless, it's cut to the correct size, and doesn't crack because of heat. I do. I crack in the heat all the time. Boneheads. Isn't that neat? How different cultures find use for the same material. We use it to get hot, they use it as a monolithic calendar. <laughs> There is also a bird's whisk on the wall there if you want. Collect the rocks. What, you want me to get more of them, you mean? <laughs> or you mean the ones I just collected? Smells wonderful. Dried birch. Place the rocks on the heater and the sauna will be ready. Usually 60 to 100 degrees Celsius. While private ones known to reach 70 to 110. God damn, that's hot. Place the rocks on the furnace. Ah, oh, okay, and then we sleep until the morning. Right. Did you like it? Maybe I will join next time. I will bring sausage and something to drink. Okay, we got a cash reward for that, but there's no red box here, which is a bit of a shame. 
I was kind of hoping we'd have a red box here. So I'm not sure where we're going to find a red box. Whoops, we want map. Um, okay, so that's a lookout point. Hmm, okay. Um, I'm just trying to decide what I want to do as far as... Wow, we've actually done a lot of walking. I think I might leave it at that for tonight. It is getting late for me. Tahiti. Tanuri. Um... Yeah, it's 12.30 in the morning, so I might leave that as it for tonight, I think. We'll come back and have another go at this one later. Uh, I'm not sure where he's got me going. Follow the blue trail. I mean, I'd kind of like to go to a hut now, mate, and sort out... 179 metres. Let's just get there and see if that's at least a hut. I need a hut. Because I want to be able to come back to this location next time I play. I'll very quickly try and run over to here. Uh, catch lock and G. We'll quickly try and run over to here and I'll see if this is a hut. If this isn't a hut, well, we're going to call it for tonight. I do have another stream in another nine hours. Which is, um, Northern Lights, which is a survival game. So, yeah, I won't be on this for too much longer. We'll get up here. Hopefully this will be a hut. I'd really like it to be a hut. And for now, I'm just going to run. I'm not too worried about the animals. We'll do the Dr. Zeus thing next time and walk and talk and this whatever. This is one of my favorite places on the Blue Trail. These two lakes are kept from one another by a little stretch of land. They only meet when it rains. It's a romantic tragedy of nature. I've read a few times that Finland is at the top of lists that rank happiness. Yeah, I've heard that. I'm at the top of the list of things when I'm in places like this. You know, it's not only the beauty. It's the way nature shapes this landscape without any real end goal in mind. It's incidental beauty. Or to think about it in another way. Is it perceived as beautiful by anything other than humans? What factors have... Ah, uh, Agrobogan. Hey, how are ya? Does a monkey climb a tree? Hello, these... Geese callers are all the same as the Canadian geese call. Okay, are they? I have no clue. <laughs> have you heard the I have no clue. I have not failed. I have just found 10,000 ways that won't work. <laughs> Describing his method for what? I found 10,000 ways that both work? Nature needed countless mutations to create a thing how many times it needs to create another thing. What was that? You Did you identify your target, guys? We shot it. I don't know what it was. I reckon it was another bear. Nature's evolution and mutation as a manifestation of its creativity. Uh, but is evolution's creativity like a child painting or like an inventor finding ways that don't work? I think I need a long walk to think about this some more. Blood. <laughs> Where'd you just go? Far out, your fast dog.
Well, we got another beer. That'll be a nice way to finish the stream. This must be beer country. It wasn't a beer, it was a deer. Oh, you really do get those bees and these confused, Glenn. <laughs> it was a what? What the hang was that? What was that? What is that? Whitetail. What an awesome sound. You're going to give me a twofer to finish the evening. I think I might get a twofer. Get another one and then we'll finish it. No, maybe not. Where does it go? Don't know where it went. Oh, well. We'll carry on. I want to get to this. See if it's a hut. Hopefully it's a hut. What does this sign say? It says blue. Okay. So blue's that way, guys. Uh, it's a bridge. I've seen a lot of brown bears to the north of here. There are rumors of a great big unique looking bear in the region. I have never seen it myself, and I'm not sure if it's true or not. Maybe you could go and check it out. Great big unique now, bear. In old Finnish mythology, the bear is a very sacred animal. We say karhu in Finland. Karhu. Okay. When a bear was harvested, a great feast was held in its honor, and part of the celebrations was about convincing the bear spirit it had died by accident. And <laughs> Fair enough, yeah. That's how I do it with my dinner. Not try to seek revenge. <laughs> Afterward, the community would help the bear spirit return to the forest, so they would continue to be gain in the future. Right. This, the bear was a son of a god. And was symbolically married to a maiden. I'm a son of a something, but no, but it's God. Waking up on a Wednesday and hearing the good news, you're being married to a grizzly today. <laughs> have you written your vows? We might not have a lot in common with ancient people, but hunting and celebrating the harvest is something we've been doing for many millennia. That emotion and activity ties us directly to the hunters that came before us. You know, it takes a while to sink in. You are doing and feeling the same exact thing hunters 5,000 years ago might have felt. Yeah, they had their guns too, eh? See, that's way over there somewhere. They make a weird noise, those white tails. No, I don't know. Um, yeah, so we might have to come back and do a bit more of this in a couple of days. So if you're um, new to the channel, remember to subscribe. I will definitely be coming back. 
we'll do a bit more of this Rebel and Tuli. I think that's what it was called. Rebel and Tuli um, Coast. Yeah, Rebel and Tuli Coast. Oh, my brain just keeps thinking Northern Lights because that's what it translates to. That's much easier for my brain to remember than Rebel and Tuli. <laughs> Revan Tuli sounds like some sort of a uh, flash meal. That's ravioli. <laughs> you gonna give us a hut yet? Come on, because I want to sort out my weapon, mate. Like you know, seriously. Then we'll go after the bears again next time. I already got one bear and I got one deer. And that's a rabbit over there. Thumper. To you too. The last ice age created a lot of amusing landmarks on the Finnish landscape. I've marked their location on your hunter map so you can check them out. Apart from natural landmarks, there are a few man-made ones here as well that I think would be worth visiting. I recommend you to check them out if you happen to be close to one of them. Oh, that was a word. That was indeed a word. Which one of you can pronounce that? Dare you to give it a go. <laughs> Oops, something went wrong. Try reloading the page. So it sounds like my chat's gone down. <laughs> Did we get that? White-tailed deer. Yeah. Um, okay, so that message is gone now. Does that mean chat is fixed again? What am I hearing now? Another grouse. Well, that's just grouse, mate. Sounds like they're all around me. Now, did we hit this one out here somewhere? That looks like it over there. That does indeed look like it over there. See if the dog can find it. Where are you? Western, yeah, one of those. We've got a silver for that. Um, okay, we'll just take this. We'll just take the cash. Shush the dog up, eh? Give it a pat. Rifle score up again.
Nice. Okay. Can this be a hut? And then we can raise the flag and be done for tonight. And then I'm going to go to bed. Not that I think I can sleep tonight. I've got too many things on my mind right now. Which is why I'm streaming tonight. I was kind of hoping to relax and calm down a bit. Hunter Call of the Wild usually helps uh, calm me down when I'm wound up. I find it just a very relaxing game. Okay, so there's another tower over there. Just northeast of here, up the cliff is a lookout tower. Yeah, sorry. It does not get any closer, so if you want to use it, now is a good time. Come back here when you want to continue the trail. Oh, okay. So that's what you want us to do, go up and trigger that. Okay. Oh, I know that noise. Get that thing ready. Because there's a bear in here. Maybe we can turn him into a chair. Oh, you feel that? It's right through you. I want a beer to finish the evening. Is that a bear to finish the evening, is it? Good girl. That the body there by the looks of it. Good dog. Come on in, let's go. I've seen it. Good dog. Damn, you're a good dog. Look at that. That's a nice big cuddly teddy bear. <laughs> what a way to finish the day. Hey? Eh? Yay, foe! Absolutely magnificentus. A female silver. 
I don't think we can. I don't think there's any point at keeping this one. Yeah, I don't see there's any point in keeping this one. We'll just accept that. And, um. I don't think we're getting any closer to a hut. I really don't. Really kind of hope that we'd be at a hut. Because, 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 because we've shot in a couple of beers now. Can we have a hat, please? Just to, just to, you know? This isn't going to be a hat, though, is it? I was just testing it. Oh, yeah, how'd you get on? How'd you get on? Takes a long time to install it. She's a big install. I'm liking it so far. I like the new updates. But pretty close to halfway through the blue trail now. Am I enjoying yourself so far? Well, I'd like a hat. You know, there are plenty more trails to walk on. For example, the yellow trail takes you through the hills. My personal favorite, the one me and Pirio take when we want a long walk with Holly, is the red trail. It's a bit of a trek, but it goes down through the archipelago. Pirio is an oceanologist, so we can mix business with pleasure and bring our binoculars for some bird watching. We have many different species of birds that visit us. Uh, I don't remember the names of the birds in English. Uh, we have the uh, Metsahanhi and the Tukkasotka. Yeah. And, oh, oh, yes, yes. <laughs> this one I know. We have the Golden Eye. Which I remember because uh, Pierce Brosnan. Yeah, that's right. He's good James Bond. James Bond, yeah. And maybe you know, birds can't keep secrets. So if you listen, you can usually hear them long before you see them. When I want to get really close to them, I usually use a boat fly. We have them available in the shop if you want to use one. Well, I'd like to get to the shop. Birds reminds me of a song me and Pirio made together. But to do that, we need to get a red box. We recorded the call of some birds and made this. It's very short, but I think it turned out funny. Oh, you got more music. Uh, let me put it on. <laughs> different. Uh, it's different. Definitely different. <laughs> Can't deny it. It's definitely different. But I would like a hut now, please, mate. You talk about um, going to the shop, but we can't go to the shop without a red box. Can't get a red box without getting to a hat. You know, west of here is a lookout tower, and northwest of that, there is an outpost. It's a bit of a walk, but you can visit them now if you want, or we can just continue on the blue trail. So you're telling me there's no hats on this blue trail? Is that what you're telling me? Are you telling me I have to go all the way somewhere else to get to a hut? Oh well, I think we're going to have to settle for our two beers and one deers. That's not how the song goes. Hang on, let me see. I want one bourbon, one scotch. Two beers and one deers. Yeah, no, that is right. I'm sure that's how the song goes. You know, this 
country has a history of high accuracy riflemen. And I believe it is important that a hunter is a few things. Firstly, somebody that respects and understands the tick and talk of nature and our place in it. Secondly, somebody that gives as much as he takes in life. And thirdly, a good shot. You know, what? really mind suffering, but we don't need to add a shot. I've set up a few targets for you to test your aim. Go to the rock circle to start. Not seeing anything out here. I heard something. Go to the rock circle. Okay. Let's start with an easy 150 meters. You can use whatever weapon and scope you want. Go to the next rock circle. Oh, are you? So we're just going to do some target shooting. You just want to see how good I am, huh? Ain't missed yet. Oh, well, okay, maybe I have. But that's not the point! I can pretend I haven't missed. Okay, let's get our breath back before we step into the circle. Not a lot to say about this distance. 200 meters or 219 yards. You probably take most of your game at this distance. If you're not zeroing your scope, remember to compensate for the drop by shooting slightly above the target. <laughs> What else you got for me then, huh? Huh? What else you got for me? Well, come on, wolf buck! We're out of here! How's that shooting, guys? What do you reckon? Two for two? Good enough for you? I don't want to chase it. I'm really not in the mood to chase it tonight. Here we go. 250 meters. Somewhere around here is where meat is separated from the chap. Oh! Oh, oh, Pianoski. nice that you are not chap. Hundred and thirty six meters to the next one. How long is this gonna keep going for, I wonder? Cause it is kinda late. Can this be a hut? Seriously? 
Oh no, we're going that way. Okay, I think I might call that it. I don't know. How much more is this going to go for? This could be bloody endless for all I know. Um... wasn't really expecting to stay up this late it means it's one o'clock in the morning apparently after one heading on for yeah it's well after one o'clock in the morning wasn't really intending to stay up this late What do you got for me now? Thousand meters? Where's this gonna come up? Be on the other side of the lake. Meters or 328 yards. Imagine the old days trying to hit this distance with an iron sight. With iron sights, yeah, it's not a not 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 an easy shot. Okay, he's not. I need to let him get his breath back. He's not holding his breath properly. I'm glad you have good aim. You know, I've been thinking of investing in a shooting range. It would be a good activity for our visitors and a source of revenue for the reserve. And down the line, a win for the animals, right? This has given me new energy to look into it. Thank you. Let's head back to the trail. Steady aim. Guided tour ends. Okay. So he likes my shooting ability, does he? Couple of bad shots there towards the end, but never mind. Got the targets. I have a riddle for you. In the misty Finnish mountains, there is a village of magical squirrels. When they are born, they are randomly given a red or blue hat from their squirrel parents. Oh yeah. A squirrel never knows the color of its own hat, and there are no reflective surfaces in a squirrel village. Yep. So he just asks his mate. Age, they are taught a secret sorting rule that allows them to correctly sort themselves according to the color of their hat. Once a year, the squirrels have a ceremony. They all gather in the village center in a way that they can all see each other. They take a good look at each other and individually perform the sorting room. Then they close their eyes and walk to the left or right end of the center. After a short while they walk back, mix and open their eyes again. How do they manage to sort themselves without making any mistakes? What is the rule? They just ask each other. I'll give you a second to think about it. They need it. They think they ask each other. <laughs> they go, hey Frank, what color is my hat? Frank goes, it's blue. Any ideas? And then they go, oh, it's blue, and then you know it's red. The answer is rational and logical. Yeah, it's they ask. The, we're talking about. the number of squirrels doesn't matter, but to keep it practical, let's say it's any number between five and ten. Yeah. Uh -huh. It's something about counting odds and evens. Try to put yourself in the shoes of one of these squirrels. I don't think squirrels wear shoes. A different number than another squirrel. Um. Uh, next time I see a squirrel, I'll ask him what sort of shoes he wears. Are you getting close to the answer? No, because I don't think they wear shoes. If everybody counted the same color, let's say blue, what number would squirrels that have a blue hat Opposed to the red squirrel. Half of them. 
<laughs> we are getting close to the end of the tour. This section is the easiest. What were your favorite parts of the trek? The part where I shot the bears. From the ground, you might not see that there are a lot of lakes in Finland. But from above, the countryside shimmers. You know, Finland is known as the land of a thousand lakes. Yes, yeah, isn't that before? Correct would be the land of about 190,000 lakes. Oh, yeah. A paradise for the hunter, the fisher, the poet, and the mosquito. To make the mosquito. <laughs> The last part of the trek? So does that mean we'll get back to a hut in a minute? I hope so. Oh, we're back here. Awesome. Okay, good. Oh, I knew you'd have a tune. Where's the red box? Up there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so we'll be able to, um, now that we're back here, we'll be able to sort out our weapon in the next hunt. Oh, let me over the fence! <laughs> Oh, we go around then. Oh, I can't even go around. Okay. This is not the box. Oh, where's the box? <laughs> Over there. That's where we came from. Oh, uh, Baron. <laughs> okay. For some reason, I want to look at the box just so I know it's there. Yep, okay. So, we can come into here next time, or we can do it now. What have I got? Let's have a quick look. Because I'll probably forget next time as well, to be honest. So, what do I have? I have a 12 gauge. Double barrel. And we have 12 gauge buckshot. Okay. You're not going to take me to the hoo jar with the thingy on it. Oh, that sucks. Store. Where's all our 12 gauge ammo? That's locker. I thought I already said store, game. Come on, store. Store, yes. Why are you trying to confuse me? I know what I said and I know what I want. So I think we need bird shot. We've got 12 gauge buck shot. Twelve gauge slug. We can't get that then. Do we have to start with a different shotgun maybe?
compatible items. This is compatible items, so I don't know why it's not. That's strange, because that's what I've purchased. I mean, that's what I've got. Now I've got 54 of the freaking things. Maybe I need a different shotgun. Um... These aren't shotguns, are they? Thank you. I mean, I don't think it's that. I don't know. Buy it anyway. But we shall worry about it another time. No, I want inventory. You gotta exit out of there and then go back in. Inventory weapons. Drop that. Squirrels. I forgot to give you the answer to the squirrel riddle. That's the same one I just had, isn't it? If all the squirrels count the same color, let's say blue. Then the blue squirrels will always arrive at one amount less than the Are you still on about that? Can't count his own heart. Oh, I don't know. Um, yeah, I'm tired. I'm not even in the mood to think about it right now. Uh, you finish your speech, please, mate. Are you finished going on about squirrels and colours and crap? Anyway, um, yeah, I'm tired. I'm not sure what's going on with the shotgun. Quite frankly, I'm not overly worried right now. I'll um worry about that another time. But I'm going to leave that as it for tonight because I am starting to get a little on the tired side. It is half past one in the morning. So, yeah, I'm not used to streaming at this time of the morning. <laughs> so if you've enjoyed today's content, remember to give it a thumbs up. It helps the algorithm, helps people discover the channel, and hey, who knows, maybe we might actually get this channel to grow a little bit bigger. It's growing a little right though. But if you're not already subscribed, subscribe to the channel. If you're on Twitch, follow, and we'll see you all on the next one, guys. I will be streaming again in theory in oh, another eight hours or so. So we'll see you all then, and we'll see you on the next one. Thanks for watching. Take care. Have a good day. Bye.